Clicking in the cells, okay, to track your progress, and we always start here, at the zero, at A1, okay. Put the cursor there, okay. And the the rule, the rule is always, if a red falls, you move the cursor down one. So in other words, if on this we start at zero, that means there's no bet. We're just going to wait and see what falls. Okay, so if a red falls, always move down one. So if a red falls, we would go down one which is here, okay? And then if a black falls, we always move one to the right. So if we're right here, we bet one on this bet, okay? And then the spin that comes next is a black. Always move to the right when you have a black. So therefore, you're gonna move here. So once again, if a black falls, always move to the right. So let's say we were here, we're just, we're not betting, because you see it says zero, okay? So we're not betting then the, a black falls. That means, remember the rule, if a black falls, always move to the right. So therefore we go here. Okay, now we're gonna bet one on black. Okay, and then let's say we get a red. So what's the rule? If a red falls, always move one down. So then here you go. We go here, we're back to here again. Now we're at zero, so then, we, then we're just gonna spin and see what falls. And if we get a red, we're gonna go here. We're going to move one down, because the rule is if a red falls, always move one down. Bingo. Now we're going to bet two on red. Okay. And now let's say we get a hit. Well, then it's a red, right? So then that means we always move down. Now we have a three. Okay. And then we get a black. Now, okay, we bet three, and then we get a black. So then remember, if a black falls, you always move to the right. That's there. Now we're going to bet two on red. Okay, and let's say we get a red. Well, if red falls, you always move down. So then that means we're gonna bet four on red. Okay, and then we get a black. Okay, so then we move to the right and we're gonna bet two on red. And then we get another black and that means you move to the right. So we go here. Now we're not gonna bet. We're gonna spin, okay, and just see what comes out and we get a black. So then we're moving here. Okay, so now we're gonna bet three on black. Okay, now let's say we're here and we get a zero. Okay, if you're in a colored space, black or red, and you get a zero, then what you do is you pretend it's the other color. So in other words, we're in black. If we get a zero, that's the same as if a red hit. So therefore, since we're going to count it as if it's a red, that means we're going to move one down and go here. Okay, so now we're not going to bet at all. We bet zero. Now let's say we get an, let's say we get another zero, another green zero pops up. Okay. If you're on a zero space and you're not betting and you get a zero, just ignore it and spin again. So we spin again and we get a black. So what's the rule? If a black falls, always move to the right. So then we're going to go here, and we're going to bet five on black. Okay, and then we get another black. Well, we just go here. Now we're going to bet nine on black. Okay, we get a red. Okay, red falls, you always move one down. So we're going to go here, we're going to bet eight on black. We get another black. We're going to go here and bet 15 on black. Okay, we get a red, move down. Bet 15 on black, we get a black. Boom, now bet 30 on black. We get another black, and we're off the edge because we can't move any farther to the right, and then you start back over. And that's how it works. The idea is to come off the edge, like this right here, that edge, come off of it on any of these red spaces. So come downward, come downward, come downward. That's an edge. Same thing with the black. If you come off of it to the right, come off of it to the right, come off of it to the right, you'll automatically make 20 units. If you come off it to the right, come off it to the right. The only time you don't um, 
the only time you lose 100 is if you land on this spot right here and what it'll represent is if you're landing on this spot it means that there were 10 blacks and 10 reds in, a, in the sequence. It was a perfect balance between black and red over 10 spins and that's when you lose 100 units otherwise you're going to come off the edge one of these edges and win 20 units okay and so that's how it works now with that being said that's a very simple system and what will happen is you'll just will discover you know discover that the loss occurs loss can occur you know frequently in other words it can it can happen it's gonna happen you're gonna see it it'll, it'll happen okay so you don't have to always continue to bet like in other words if it if you at every betting point like if you're if you're if you're here and you're down a hundred units and you bet set or you're down I don't know let's just say you're down five units okay and you bet seven on red okay and then you get a red okay so now you were up two units and it says to bet nine now do you have to risk your two units of profit and bet nine no you don't have to you don't have to you can take your two units of profit and start over just start over you don't have to keep risking all the way down and making it a, a piss fight I mean, excuse me you know a battle over you know 20 units like you have to hit 20 units you don't have to okay on every bet you have a decision as to whether you can start out whether you want to start over or not okay so let's play um, I'm gonna start off in the upper left hand corner so that's a zero bet so we're just gonna see which uh, comes out red or black okay so we're showing black as dominant so we're moving to the right uh, that'll be one unit on black alrighty then and now it's gonna be two units there we go all right, now we're going to move down towards red. Red came out, so we're going to move down. Now it's going to be one unit. Okay, so now uh, we've equalized on red and black. So now we need to figure out which one's going to be dominant and go with that one. So that's the strategy. All right, and it ends up being black. So we're, now we're going to bet two units. We just follow along like that. Um, okay, so we got a red result. So now we're going to uh, get another spin. We're, again, we're equalized on, on red and black. And then again, it comes back as black. Um, so it just keeps fighting. And we're going to bet two units again. So. And we did get a win on that. Um, so, okay. Now we're going to bet four units. Yep. And we do win. And so now we're going to go up to five units. Pretty exciting. And we do win. Um, so, okay. So we're here. Now we're going to bet six units. And we do win. That was pretty nice. Um, so, okay. So now we're going to start dropping it. Now we're going to go down to five units. All right, here it goes. And we do win. And so uh, we're going to be dropping it uh, again. Now we're going to be betting three units. You just follow right along. Okay, so we did get a red result. And that means we're now going to bet five units. So we're coming back up now. Alrighty, that's what I expected. And so now we're going to move over. And we're on the final bet. If we win this, we'll come off the edge and win uh, our 20 units. So uh, now we're going to bet two units to accomplish that. And if we win this, we win. Ah, we did not. So now we're going to be betting four units. And we did win that, and we exit here. 
All right, so there you go. I mean, it's really just that simple. Uh, you just follow along. Very powerful, very intelligent, and uh, due to rounding, we're at 22 units instead of 20. That happens, um, you know, it's slightly off because of the rounding uh, on the formulas, uh, the formula, which is really an amazing formula. If this was useful to you, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like our video. Now, maybe it's time to get your play to the next level with the great strategies you will find in our site or watch another one of our videos.